Hi guys, Lisi here. Welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be talking to you today about meditation on the Twin Flame journey. And I don't talk about this very often, but I just released not five, not six or seven, but eight Twin Flame meditations. The eighth is now released. It's a complete set. You can get the first Twin Flame meditation for free. That's the coming home to your Twin Flame meditation for free um, when you visit my website it's no obligation, nothing. You don't have to, you know, get fill out anything. It's just, it's just a free meditation. But the rest of them are on sale right now. So if you like the first one, you, can, you might want to claim all of them because they're only going to be on sale for a limited time. Let's talk about meditation on the Twin Flame journey. So um, I know there's tons of forms of meditation, lots of different ways that you can meditate. You may not know that. Um, a lot of us, when we think of meditation, we think of, you know, sitting in the lotus position um, with your uh, middle finger on your thumbs or different different poses for the masculine and the feminine um, and sitting up straight and just clearing your thoughts, right? So that's one form of meditation and that's challenging uh, if you're not practiced in that. And every time your thoughts come across your mind, you just observe them. So that's one form of meditation. There's another form of meditation, which is guided meditation. And I love guided meditation because it interacts with your imagination. Instead of being a bystander watching your imagination, you're going to be within your imagination. Imagination is energy. Imagination moves energy forward. And imagination is what the law of attraction really depends on when you're trying to manifest your twin flame union. And so a guided meditation from someone who knows and understands the twin flame journey in and out and has experience and has healed their own consciousness about love can guide you through an imaginative process that allows your mind to be free and clear and claim what it is you actually desire. So there are three meditations that I love. I'm going to tell you about these. These aren't even mine that I'm going to tell you about. The Twin Flame Healing Meditations that you can get on the Twin Flames Universe website. I listen to those almost every day. There's three tracks. The first one is about aligning your chakras. The second one is about healing old relationship wounds, like letting go of those old relationships. And the third one is a twin flame healing meditation. It's so juicy and so good. And uh, in my experience, I'll share, uh, when I was listening to these in the beginning, I had huge breakthroughs and transformations because as I surrendered and you know put them in on my earbuds and closed my eyes, I was transported into a place of unconditional love. And at the time, I was having a really hard time with unconditional love not just of my twin flame, but of myself. Like I didn't know what love was. I knew that I loved myself, like a logical thing, like of course I do, but I didn't feel loved. And so those meditations really walked me through my own mind um, in a place that I hadn't been able to walk before. So that's, that's something about guided med meditations is that it takes half the work off the process for you. Like you, you get to be, you know, immersed in this uh, loving consciousness and you, you're given choices that, that make it easier for you and take all that front load off of you for, to try to imagine on your own, right? So um, imagining something is, is the way that you manifest it. What you choose to imagine comes true. So if you're harping on you know, obsessing as my twin flame with someone else? Are they, do they like me? Are they mad at me? Whatever it is, your mind has been like pinging that thought over and over, ping, 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 over and over and over, over and over. And that actually draws that experience to you. Now, don't get worried. Don't be like, oh no, I can't think about these bad things or else bad things will happen. Don't worry about that. If you notice that you're having these intrusive thoughts about your twin flame, all you do is the mirror exercise. And I have videos on that. Um, if you want to learn the mirror exercise, book a session with me 
because I can help you do it and I can see where you're personally getting stuck because it's different for, for everybody else. You can read about the mirror exercise in the book Twin Flames, Finding Your Ultimate Lover and you can listen to it on my channel and in Twin Flame Ascension School, but you alone have your own personal blocks and challenges to the mirror exercise that aren't going to be in that book and that's what I can help you with. So let me help you with the mirror exercise. But regarding meditations on your twin flame journey, it's it's important for you to have like a framework um, of consciousness that you, you kind of like a template, right? Like um, have you guys ever made like a paint by number, right? You're painting on there, but there's like a template that you follow and it's beautiful. And the more that you do that, if you let's say you paint by number a lot, or color by number, it's going to train you in certain techniques that you're going to then later apply on your own, right? So it's kind of like training wheels, or it's like um, like a, an encadrement, like it's something that gives you some structure and support for your consciousness, so that you can learn what it feels like to be in harmonious twin flame union consciousness, and that's what you need to be with your twin flame. So I'm going to guide us through a brief meditation. Um, this is part of one of my meditations um, on, on those tracks that you can download. And this is a meditation to ground you. And I learned this meditation from my Reiki master teacher when I became a master Reiki practitioner in the Usue method. Um, my teacher would do this before each of our sessions so that we just cleared the energy and came into our own. So without further ado, you can get into a comfortable seat and just take a few breaths. Make sure that you're really comfortable. Why don't you take three breaths on your own? And on the next inhale, imagine a bright white light emanating about three feet above your head. It's a warm light. And this light sends a beam of light down to the crown of your head. Notice how warm it feels. And the light starts to descend past your ears, down your neck, down your shoulders, down both of your arms, and into your heart space. Notice how warm your body feels in your upper chakras with this bright white light sending down from your crown to your third eye to your throat and into your heart. And let this white light start to pulse there and swirl very gently. Next, imagine a bright red light about three feet in the earth under where you're sitting. It doesn't matter if you're moving, it doesn't matter if you're on the ground or in a chair, it's three feet in the earth under your, under your seat. Let this red light come up through your root chakra into the balls of your feet up your legs 
your kneecaps, your hips. Move this red, warm, light energy into your sacral chakra. Let it soothe all of your creativity and abundance. Bring this red light up to your solar plexus just above your navel. Then let this red light join the white light in your heart. As this red light meets your heart, it swirls and delights in the white light and the white light welcomes and embraces the red light. Together, they make a beautiful loving pink light emanating from your heart. This beautiful warm pink light goes down your arms, down past your elbows, through your wrists, and into the palm of each of your hands. Notice the palms of your hands as they feel just a little bit warmer. This is unconditional love from the white light of Father Sky and the red light of Mother Earth together. If you like, if you have any part of your body that is feeling uncomfortable, you may take your hands and place them on or above this body part. Infuse this body part with unconditional love. Take a few minutes. If there's anything else that your body needs right now, give that to yourself. On your own time, gently blink your eyes open and come back into the space. Thank you for staying with me during this meditation. Wishing you many, many blessings and namaste. Don't forget to visit my website if you'd like more Twin Flame meditations. Bye-bye.